the fact is, is I basically replicated your journey and I achieved the results that you achieved. So it's, there's a blueprint, right? And you put that blueprint out there. You, you've uh, helped me achieve something I thought was never achievable, Joe. So I can't thank you enough. Brad, it's so good to have you here, man. Hey, great. Great to be here, Joe. It's good to see you here on the live. Man, it's excellent to see you. It's nice to meet uh, you again and also for the first time be able to meet your bicep vein. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, it's been a journey for sure. But hey, this is all digital weight right here. So uh, it's I'm, I'm living proof. In order to be the best version of yourself, one thing that you can't overlook is your recovery. You don't build muscle in the gym. You build muscle when you're at home recovering. And no one gets you pushing yourself harder than Mueller Sports. Feel free to check out Mueller Sports, the sponsor of today's video. Their patented compression therapy will get you up and running harder than ever before. Discount for you guys in the description. Enjoy the episode. Brad and I actually did some training. We had a training session together back when I was more into the online personal training. When I when I started, you know, quote unquote coaching Brad, I was thinking, why is this guy here? Because he knows. Brad knows. But uh, Brad, tell us a little bit about you, maybe your age, your training history and stuff like that, please. Yeah, I appreciate that. So I'm, I'm 45 uh, and I've uh, been training for, gosh, probably 20 years, pretty, pretty intensely. Um, you know, I've always been that guy who would get up at 3.30 and run over to the gym down the road and, and get my training in. And, and uh, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's, it was, it was a fantastic ride until the pandemic hit. And then uh, my gym closed and, and I found digital weight during, during that period. And uh, the day I found the, the, the digital weight machine, I never turned back. Um, mm -hmm. You know, for me, it was, it was a great opportunity to shift from my traditional training to, to something that I deem to be a little more efficient. And for the last two years, that's, that's what I've been doing. And it's, uh, it's had, it's had great results for me. Man, that is excellent. That is excellent. So you're, you're more of like a seasoned trainer because you've been training since way before digital weight. Yeah, absolutely. I, but you know, I think that the key is, is my intensity of training has increased significantly in the past couple of years. And I think, you know, really access is the key, the convenience of it. And before, you know, getting up at three 30, there were days where I had an excuse. I'm not going to, I don't want to get up and get in the car. I've got a long day ahead. And, and just that convenience factor of being able to run over to my office here, just a couple steps away and get my training in has been a game changer for me. And it took what, and, and you know, everyone has their own training regimen, but for me, I was training three to four days a week in a gym. I'm training seven days a week now. And, and, and I can do it morning, afternoon, evening, depending on my schedule, which is a, a pretty, pretty volatile work schedule. So that flexibility has been a game changer. Wow. I totally know what you mean, man. Yeah. When I discovered digital weight, having 200 or so pounds in your home that you can have access to at your convenience, it's like you have the best of all worlds and you can go at it whenever you want. Right. And, and you say 200 pounds, but Hey, if you've list, lifted 200 pounds of iron and 200 pounds of digital weight, those two things are not alike. Right. They are right. not alike. Digital weight is so much heavier. And so for me, you know, the, I think a lot of people shy away from, from the digital weight sometime because of that, that cap. But for anyone who's not tried it, it's, it's a very different experience. Totally. I absolutely, I agree. Uh, for anybody out there who doesn't know why such a different experience, for me, what I found is there's, there's two main reasons why it feels a bit different for anybody out there who hasn't experienced this is number one, you have a motor constantly pulling on your muscle. So the gravity factor of being able to swing a weight up, can maybe cheat it up, use different muscles to get it up, just defy gravity, it's not there because you just have a constant pull. Yeah, you can't cheat the weight. Right. You <laughs> cannot cheat the weight. And uh, there's a lot to be said for that. You can try and you may get a little help, but uh, that, the, the pull of that digital weight is, is unlike anything. And, and uh, I've, I've 
taken 40 pounds of digital and then ran over and grabbed 40 pounds of iron, it's very different. It feels a lot heavier. And so again, for me, again, that's my experience. And, and I've had a couple of different digital weight machines and, and the experience has been the same on both. And for me, I love that because it, it, it really pushes me much, much harder than, than I've ever been pushed. And I, and I love that. Are there any specific modes that you use in order to get through your, your training in a, in a more effective way than back when you were just pumping iron? Yeah, I, I appreciate that question. There is no substitute for eccentric mode. Okay. Right? <laughs> I mean, th this bicep vein is the result of eccentric, right? When you, can, you when you can, on your concentric motion, lift, let's say, 60 pounds, and then you've got 85 forcing you down and you're fighting that weight, that is just something that cannot be replicated in any other way. So I'm a guy who values time and I value efficiency. And right. I can get more efficiency out of my training session with a smart mode like that. It, it is a game changer for me. And so, yeah, I'm a big fan of eccentric. There are times where I'll flip on chains mode because, again, very, very different experience where kind of that, that lower, that beginning part of the, the rep is much, much heavier than, than at the top. Um, but man, I love eccentric. It really pushes me in different ways. And then I'll just say, you know, the, the other modes really more on the safety side of things, right? So you can push yourself really, really hard. And then you have assistance modes that make sure that you're safe in maxing out to your fullest without putting yourself in jeopardy. And to me, again, that's kind of the second portion of it. While that's a safety mechanism, it allows you to push harder than I would in a gym because I may not have a spotter right? This is like your digital spotter. And, uh, and again, you can, you can do a lot with those two things, man. You aren't kidding, bro. Yeah. I, I personally, I love eccentric mode. You know, I love eccentric mode. It totally changes the game. Not only are you getting more weight, but you're getting more weight safer. So it's like, it's like another layer of protection. Like you just said, you have that spotter mode. It's another layer of protection and it's maximizing your muscles potential. It's incredible. Yeah. It, it, the pump you get from that is, is unlike anything. And the great thing is it works for every exercise. I mean, I, I turn it on for everything, whether it's a closed grip, but uh, you know, tricep bench or bench press or curls, everything. It, it is phenomenal. And again, it just taxes your body in in unique ways so yeah that's how i get the most use out of it the most efficiency and uh and I, there's probably not a single set that 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 i do that doesn't have eccentric as, as part of it in some way shape or form yeah same with me very rarely will i you will i touch chains mode but chains mode is like a very niche kind of a a, a mode it would be great for you guys out there if you're looking to train for power or something along those lines it's going to help condition your muscles in a completely different way. Um, it's excellent for, for people who are maybe in sports or power lifters. Of course, this machine, it's not going to be probably enough for a legitimate power lifter. But for somebody who wants to be able to train accessory movements at home and keep that force and be able to manipulate their muscles for when they get back to the gym this machine will do it yeah absolutely and look there are certain exercises i max out right i'll max out deadlift i'll max out squat but what i found is if i slow down my rep and i hold that rep let's say at the let's say if i'm squatting and i hold it at the bottom for two seconds hey 200 pounds is a lot so it, it depends on how you manage your movement in my in my opinion that you can get a lot more out of 200 pounds even when you are maxing out and so for me it's still a continued evolution where i was maxing out on deadlift at, at five reps i'm now you know at 14 15 reps and so i'm still continuing to progress because volume i'm hey i love volume at the end of the day it doesn't bother me at all so yeah it's not for your power lifter but for 90 percent of us out there who aren't in the power lifting game you can get super shredded on on uh, speedians and and you're gonna have a great great time doing it absolutely right like brad said for like 90 i would i would even say like 98 percent of people at least 
in all the people I've ever trained, it's always I want to build muscle and lose weight. And this machine can help you do both of those things. That's that's typically what people want. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Forgive me. So I'll call you 73. But is it resistance in both directions? Absolutely. That is that is the case on all the modes. You'll have resistance in both directions except for fixed speed. Yes, you'll have you'll have different variations of resistance on both ends. And so the one Brad specifically talking about and the one I specifically love, uh, just like Brad, it's eccentric mode. It's going to give you more weight on the eccentric portion, less weight on the concentric to be able to maximize your muscles uh, load potential essentially. Yeah, Art, so the hypertrophy on that is amazing, right? Because as you get towards the end of your sets, you can even drop set and you can lower the weight on that concentric portion when you're, you know, at the at, at the end of your ropes and still still push it hard on that eccentric rep. And that that's really where a lot of the gains come. If you can find a way to max out and whether it's drop sets or or just leveraging the maximum value of that eccentric mode. It, it really is a game changer that I, again, I, I've never found a way to replicate that. And I've been training a long, long time. It makes it so much easier. I remember back in the day, I would have maybe a buddy bring the weight up for me and then just drop it in my hands. But that's like, I mean, you got to have someone else there. It's a whole nother world when you can just do it at the touch of a button. It's completely amazing. Yeah. The great thing is too, is because all of my, workouts are custom. I, I hardly use anything in the library. It's just not, again, I know what I need to train to, to be successful. And you can build all of that into your, your custom program where it's, you know, set one, I'm, you know, doing 10 reps at this weight, and then it's eight, seven, six, whatever it may be, you're counting down and increasing the weight. And, uh, and so you can build all of that in to to replicate what you might do in the gym if you're drop setting you know curls or something to that effect so uh yeah it's pretty flexible really flexible yeah and and like you said in the beginning you are a perfect example of how having a machine at your leisure I mean how it can completely change the way you look physically and mentally too i mean bro i i can't even believe how cut up you are right now it's insane it's insane right. From the last time I saw you? Since the last time you saw me, I've dropped 50 pounds, right? But the thing is, is I've been training a long time, but you got to lock in that diet, right? And that's that's the key is, you know, once I crack the code on that piece combined with a seven-day regimen, you know, it was it was actually pretty easy. It was right. actually pretty easy. And, and I'm not eating chicken and rice every day, right? I'm eating really good food. And, uh, and it's just managing it more meticulously plus the training. So I do think that convenience factor is great. And then, you know, the ability to, let's say, you know, I, I still get up at 3.30 and work out, but um, there may be, I may get that workout in and then at noon, I may just get some additional training in to, to hit a particular body part that I feel like is laggy or, or, or I want to do a little, little focus on. And it's simple. I can just knock out, you know, six or seven sets and I'm done. I could never do that before because my training session was done. And and uh, just the flexibility of, of, of the, the speediness has been amazing for me in that regard. Your ultimate high comes from being in the zone. You're here to play a strong game, letting nothing stand in your way or hold you back. You know the pain you feel today is the strength you'll find tomorrow. And having the support you need to get through the daily grind is what makes the difference in how strong you finish. Because being the best matters. Build and sport. Made for life. Mueller. That squad belt. That really, helps, really, man. I, I really like that. Yeah, I, I purchased one myself here uh, a month or so ago. And I, I like, I, you know, I like to hit every body part twice a week. You know, one, one of those leg workouts, I like the, the, the barbell back squat. But, man, that other one, I love that weighted squat with with yep. the belt and it's amazing they feel so different and and i i, I love it so it's, it's a great great accessory it makes you feel like you can go heavy without worrying about like losing it like getting yep. hurt yeah it's exactly. like being on vacation but still training it's amazing it, it is so so bro you mentioned something that's gonna be really helpful for, for people out there so many people 
have reached out even until today. It's been years. And they'll be like, how do you get your results? And I tell them diet is huge and cardio is big. Now, most people don't like cardio. You're going to totally lose the weight very efficiently with just like a calorie deficit watching what you're eating. But of course, ca uh, cardio can take some off the top. What's your experience? What's your diet been like? Just a quick overview. And then also, are you doing any cardio on speedience or off speedience? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, so I'll tackle the diet first. So yeah, that's been key, right? So I started this, this transformation uh, October 31st, actually. And and I just woke up one day and said, man, I got to get this. I have to get my diet in check, right? Um, I was just, I just lost a little bit of control and uh, maybe self-control is probably the best way to, to frame it. And so um, I started logging that very next day, every single thing. And I've done this before, but I never stuck with it for a very long period of time. So I put myself in a 500 calorie deficit per day and I just meticulously managed everything that i was eating i wasn't that concerned with the macros at the start it was hit your protein and hit your calories those are the right. only two things i focused on and it, it's shocking from gosh october all the way i'd say to february you know i lost 35 pounds just doing that and and it was like i said it wasn't eating terrible food it was eating good food um, it was just managing the moderation of it. But um, then I really got laser focused on the rest of my macros. What I found during that time was I wasn't hitting the essential fats. I was kind of, yeah. I didn't want to hit the fats as hard because they're nine, nine calories per gram of fat. And I wanted those calories, right? So I probably uh, underemphasized those and overemphasized protein and, and carbs. But when I kind of really fixed that, my energy levels shot up. I was kind of hurting a little bit in energy. Um, and things really started to, to, to work a little bit better for me. Um, and that was it. So then, you know, I started, I have a handheld, uh, body fat monitor. I started the journey around 21% and we know there's plus or minus 5% on any of these things, right? They're, they're not that sure. accurate, but I use the same consistent method all the way through. I started 21%. I'm now 8% according to, to that device. So I'm probably maybe 10%, 11%, something like that. Um, but that last bit of the way from, let's say, March, April, and, and this month was really getting those those last macros dialed in. And now the funny part is, um, and I'll get to cardio in a moment because it's important. Sure. I'm not in cut anymore. I'm, okay. I'm really kind of in maintenance mode. But if you if you look at my maintenance calories, they've continued to go up. And, and the reason they've gone up is I've built muscle. And so the uh, more I'm starting to eat, the more muscle I'm building and, and your body, you know, burns more calories when it carries more muscle. So I'm sitting now, my maintenance calories around 2,800 a day. And during my cut, I was sitting around 1,700 a day, right? So I, I, I'm getting a ton of food, and that only helps my training. So when it comes to cardio, and I think that's really important, I walk, I don't run, I don't do high intensity interval training. I get 10,000 steps a day. I try to get 10,000 on a walking pad and then anything else I get just walking around the house and all that is just gravy. So I'll usually end up 15, 16, 17,000 a day. Um, but I have a sedentary job. I, I sit at a desk, you know, 10, 12 hours a day. And so the ability just to get some walking in while I'm working has been a game changer for me. So. For all those out there that hate cardio, I don't consider low intensity, steady, steady state cardio as being a real issue. It's actually pretty easy to do. And you couple that with a, a good diet and weights, I think you're going to be set because what you don't want to do is burn too much muscle off. So right. for me, I'm careful about the cardio. Um, to me, it's pretty low intensity and that's all you need to be successful. A lot of people out there may not be able to tell, but I know because I have totally been like mine and your transformations, if we'll call them transformations, whatever you want to call them, they've been essentially exactly the same with almost the same exact way that we carried them out. I can tell you guys right now, Brad, he's got his shirt on, so you guys can't see what he's working with. But I'm telling you right now, the guy looks enhanced. It looks like he could be on drugs. And I'm sure he's not. That's what diet 
<laughs> that's what diet, proper diet and proper access to a good, solid home gym that, I mean, that has eccentric mode, that'll go a long way, but that will help you to be able to achieve those results. So these adult, these results are achievable, guys. This is perfect evidence of it being done in real life. That's right. And I emulated your journey, Joe. You know, I when, when I started my digital journey, I caught on your channel and I got the stepper you got. I got the walking pad you got. And the fact is, is I basically replicated your journey and I achieved the results that you achieved. So it's, there's a blueprint, right? And you put that blueprint out there and yeah, you know, we met for a training session, all that. And that was as much focused on diet as anything else really. Um, and it was just trying to clean that up a little bit, but it's absolutely that blueprints out there. And I have actually shared my blueprint, which is effectively your blueprint with multiple colleagues and they've lost 20, 30, 40 pounds. And so it works. This works. You don't have to have a digital gym. What you need is you need discipline and you need accountability, right? Accountability for what you eat, accountability for, for getting your steps and accountability for your strength training. And you do those things. And if, and if you want it, you're going to get it. Man, I couldn't put it in a better way. I just want to let you know, you made my entire month by knowing that I was able to help in some way, shape or form. I, I mean, man, you really did. You totally just made my day. Thank you for letting me know that. What pointed you in the direction of Speedience? And what has your overall experience with the features on it? Just an overall general. I know that you kind of, you're in free mode yeah. uh, most of the time. You're building your own programs. But if you've delved into any of the um, the training that it has, what's your overall thoughts on Speedience? Where did you hear about it and so forth? Yeah, I love speed. So I heard about it watching one of your lives. So I, I got it on the uh, kind of the Black Friday Thanksgiving sale. And uh, and I loved the portability of the machine. So my other digital equipment is not portable. And right. and it's in it's in my garage where, you know, there are certain times of the year where it's just not it's not the ideal place to train. And, right. and, and the reality is, is these machines will have downtime, right? I mean, they, they are digital pieces of equipment that, that can have malfunctions uh, mechanically or software wise. And I don't ever want to go back to a gym. That's how good my experience has been. So when I saw the Speedians, I said, wow, that it's an amazing machine. It's very different than the machine I currently have. I loved obviously the pricing and I loved the, the, the fact that I don't have to pay for a, a subscription. That's important. Because I, I don't think I could I could manage two subscriptions. The fact that I now have the ability to use this and and I love the ring and I love some of the features on it. Um, to me, it was just an amazing looking uh, machine. And the fact that when you get it and, and I, for those of you who've done your research, you get the box, you open the box, you plug it in and you work out. I mean, you're literally working out in five minutes from the moment you get this this machine. And that, to me, that's pretty exceptional. So that's, that's been my experience. The quality has been fantastic. The, uh, the movement is so unique in the way it feels the tension on it. And, uh, and I love it. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a wonderful experience. And what I want to say also before time runs out is the folks over Expedience are amazing. They are engaged. They're listening when you, this, the Speedians community is amazing as a whole, but when you have a feature suggestion, they don't just pile that or file it away in a cabinet somewhere. You're likely going to see that feature come to fruition and you're not going to wait two years. You might wait two months. And, uh, and that's a pretty remarkable product and, and company who's listening to their customer base and, and making constant changes. It, it, for me, it's exciting to turn it on every day and see what's changed because that's how often software updates are coming out, right? And I get, I kind of get geeked out on that, but yeah, it's been, it's been fun. That is awesome. I'm so glad you brought that up, man, because that's been my experience too. They seem to care about the peep their customers. They're not just looking to make money. They're taking suggestions seriously. They're constantly updating stuff on that machine, tweaking things, adding big or little you know, different options. It's incredible to see that they're actually, they seem to be excited about the product and excited to help people every day. 
it's been a very unique experience uh, being an Expedience uh, customer. And, you know, even even if something doesn't work right, they will fix it. And, you know, just a recent example, my ring wasn't being as responsive as, as, as it should be. I contacted them. They sent me a new one in a week. You know, they awesome. they are top notch on customer service. And that's one thing I care deeply about when I'm, you know, cause you're, this is not a cheap product. I mean, you're spending a lot of money for this and you want reliability. And I think there's a lot of fear uh, from the consumers out there about the longevity of a digital product or digital companies, right? Because there's so much volatility, but uh, I can only tell you, I've had an amazing experience so far and they listen and they respond and, and uh, you can, yeah, I can't ask for more. I am so grateful to know that this machine has been good that any advice that I've ever given on the channel or in person has been good. I'm just so grateful. I mean, I can't even, guys, I just want to say, hearing this stuff makes all of the time that I've been on YouTube worth it. And, and Brad, you just made my night, man. Yeah, well, you, you've you uh, helped me achieve something I thought was never achievable, Joe. So I can't thank you enough. Man, my, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate it. Great chatting with you all tonight. Great to hear from you, and we'll talk soon.